Before we share the experience, we would like to request for testimonials. We would like to encourage all the Nichiren Buddhism practicing members from around the world to send in your testimonials to buddhahoodtimes at gmail.com and share your experiences how you overcome the challenges you faced and achieve victories with other practicing members who could learn from you. Thank you. Now let's hear the experience from a woman. I encountered Nichiren Buddhism in June 2012. I was introduced to this practice by one of my dear colleagues when I was under deep depression. My marriage was breaking down. I was completely hopeless and had been crying for months. As guided by my senior leaders, I started chanting for my husband and my three-years-old son's happiness. I was facing challenges on a daily basis and used to feel very weak and victimized. Due to this personal challenge, my performance at work also went below acceptance level. I continued chanting. More information started getting revealed which was hidden for the past five years of my marriage. I was intensely hurt. My husband declared several times that we must get mutually divorced as I am no longer happy with him and our situation will never change. He seemed not bothered about me and our son. I always felt betrayed. After a month, courage started building up somewhere deep inside me. And when things got above my tolerance level, I moved out of my husband's house along with my son. I shifted to my parents' house in another city. There I joined the local Soka Gakkai community. My leader guided me to pray for my high life condition. I continued chanting for long hours. My desire was to be with my husband however not at the cost of my self-respect. I wanted him to value us. I blamed him for my pain deep wounds in my heart created lots of negativity inside me. I had even developed the fear of talking to my husband on the phone. Even his name was giving me sleepless nights. However, I didn't want to leave him. I cared for him, but his rejection made me feel powerless and helpless. I prayed for my Buddha nature to emerge. I started studying and taking part in Kosen Rufu activities. Slowly I developed acceptance that this is my karma and my environment as a mere reflection. The Buddhist concept of cause and effect gave me power. The emotional baggage started going away when I took responsibility for problems and my own life. I determined I will change my situation. I will exert in my Buddhist practice and will make all the right causes to manifest the future I desire. My regular daily practice of Gongyo and abundant Dai Moku gave me calmness and courage. I was a happy person again. I was changing at a fundamental level, as if all my deep-rooted sorrows, since childhood, was vanishing. Years of pain were vanishing. Earlier I used to get affected by every little thing, I was so emotionally weak. But now I was much stronger. In the first week of November, I decided to find a job. I prayed sincerely to get a job by November 18th and made all the efforts through various job portals. I started my new job on November 18th with exactly the salary package and job location I chanted for. My faith strengthened and I felt blessed and fortunate to have this Buddhist practice with me. This was my first conspicuous benefit. In February 2013, I was presented with a mutual consent divorce paper from my husband. My family also agreed on this. But my Ichinen was different. I cried to the Gohonzon that I do not want this divorce and want to work on our relationship with this new courage and for my son's future. Mystically the next day my father refused for this divorce to happen. It gave me relief. When we refused to accept this divorce, my husband could not do anything about it. I started feeling powerful. Before that my decisions were focused on what others wanted or did not want. I never had the courage to refuse and say what I wanted. This practice made me a courageous person. Although the decision of divorce was averted, there was lots of negativity between me and my husband. I then determined to change this poison into medicine. I earnestly chanted for his happiness. I prayed to overcome my fundamental darkness and undergo my human revolution. Within weeks I dropped all the negativity from my heart and was fearless and compassionate enough to have a dialogue with him. I was praying consistently and doing Kosen Rufu activities. One day my father suddenly called him up and asked us to initiate the talk. That day we spoke for three hours. I could feel that through my prayers, negativity was not only removed from me but also from his end just like a mirror's reflection. May 3rd was approaching. I determined to gain my complete victory as a real Kosen Rufu person. In May 2013, we had series of healthy dialogues and we decided to work on our relationship for the future of our son. 
I finished my pending assignments at work and came back to my husband's house in June 2013. Our relationship is much better than ever. Our son is really happy to see his happy parents around. We are the same and there are challenges. But fundamental changes in me through my Buddhist practice makes me realize how beautiful life is. I have learned to identify problems for what they truly are. They are opportunities to grow and actually make your life even better. I pay my sincere gratitude to all my senior leaders and friends in Saka Gakkai for supporting me throughout with their prayers and guidance. I have accomplished my human revolution, changed my karma and fulfilled my various wishes. I want to mention some key learnings I had during my struggle, no matter what problems are daunting us today. They are going to change. We must accept them and understand that we are responsible for our own problems. We can only change them. Making others responsible for our problems make us feel powerless. We must earnestly pray till the end. Some problems take more time to change, but through our prayers, life will always get unfolded in the best possible way. The combination of faith, study and practice always yields results. Study increases our wisdom about life and gives us right direction. It helps us remain stronger in adverse situations. Kosen Rufu is a very crucial part of our practice. When we lift somebody else's life, we lift our lives at the same time. Kosen Rufu is a vow we took as the bodhisattvas of the earth. It is our duty to do it till the end. Transforming your life through Nichiren Buddhism is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a struggle. It starts with our own human revolution. We must chant to make changes in ourselves first. The changes in our environment are eventually reflected. Prayers must be based on our own Ichinan. With our profound wisdom and high life condition gained through chanting, we must take actions in the direction of our Ichinan and not opposite to it. No matter who says what. I hereby dedicate my new life for Kosen Rufu. Thank you.